Ah, uh, so, 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 kamusta? Bar, parang sabi mo, this is your first movie. Is there any challenging part of the movie na, kumbaga, parang nag kang gawin? Um, well, I think all the best po. Kasi <laughs> it's the first time we need to do any of it. Um, I have a bed scene and a kissing scene, and that was the first thing that I ever take. Um, when I got on set. So, of course, I was doing it. Um, I also have a dramatic scene where we're crying. So, this is my first time to, to cry on set. So, I was doing it because I don't really know the technique for it yet. Um, so, it was, it was so much harder than any class in any school I've been to. Tawag dito, yung sa pag-iyak mo, ano yung hugot na ginawa mo para maiyak ka? May ganun bang? Kasi yung mga artista ganun, di ba? Um, well, for me, I listen to music. Um, yung mga songs na nakakaiyak or that, remember, that remind me about something in my past or a boy in my past na that make me cry. So, I was listening to music with my earphones the whole time. How, how is it? Yung experience na yan? Uh -uh. Um, Meron ba yung left muna, yung right? May ganun ba? Or sa bahay? May ganun. Ang na-realize ko po is marami po po lang takes. So, I have to re-emit the emotion again and again for different angles of the camera. So, so kailangan tumulo uli. Parang ganun. Yeah, so, kala ko tapos na. Tapos kailangan pa ulit. Ano mas mahirap? Maging beauty queen o maging artista? Artista. Bakit? Well, I think the skill of acting, the skill of acting is so difficult, and you really need training and experience for that. And um, siguro nito medyo sa na ina kasi sa Big Green World, I've been there for a few years, so I've, I've learned a lot about it. So this is completely different for me. Mm -hmm. Will you imagine yourself being an artista after Rain, after your Rain and Beauty Queen? Well, in the beginning, was never because I was um, in pre-med. So I wanted to become a doctor and I never really thought of the camera life or anything like that. But I think, you know, when you're a beauty queen in the Philippines, you get a lot of opportunities. So, of course, I wanted to take them and see how I would fare. And sometimes you only know when you try. Hmm. Tawag dito, may ano ba? Uh, in dun sa pag artista mo ba, will you still go for it after your experience ang first time? Or parang, ah, ayoko na. May ganun bang ano? Alam naman po, actually had a very good time. I loved it. And I didn't know that I would, I would end up liking it. Because, you know, growing up, no one ever told me na pwede ka mag-artista. Kasi hindi ko galing sa pamilya mo so busy. Um, it's just me and my mom, single mom po siya, and she's a travel agent. So, syempre, for my, my whole life, I just wanted to work hard and have a business that would support her. So, hindi ko talaga nag-isip. Hindi ka nagdalawang isip na first movie mo, may ganong eksena agad. Syempre po, I thought about it. <laughs> Parang iba kasi, di ba, patwi tamas muna, parang yeah, smack yeah. lang, ganyan. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I also judged it on the script and before I accepted the job, I read the whole script beginning to end and I realized how nice of a movie it was and how different the movie was compared to other love stories I've seen. So knowing that and knowing and meeting the director, he's very young, very bright, vibrant and um, I guess I was convinced if you give a chance ba to, to do another movie, this time it's your launching movie, but this time may mas matindi pa dun sa ginawa mo kay tigilita will you accept it kung launching mo bimo naman yun mas sexy mas daring mas depende po lahat talaga sa script and the story if it's a good script good content good story magaling ko yung kasama ko and the director and writer then why not for me because when you're acting it's about telling a story to people you know it's not about yourself how far can you go pero bang parang back Back, back view of your body. May mga ganun. Tapos, kissing scene. May mga ganun na mas matindi, torrid. Or may mga ganun. Um, or may limitation parang because you are a beauty queen. Parang ganyan. Siguro sorry din po ako kasi galing ako nga sa beauty queen world. So, medyo sanay na po ako mag-show uh, ng skin. Because I walked in a bikini in front of many people. Uh, the whole mall of Asia area. <laughs> so, I think that helped that helped a lot. Um, and this is a work of art. Again, I, I really would have no prob problems with it as long as it's done with taste. So, Talking about beauty queen, parang may mga instances that yung mga Gabriela once to remove the 
that swimsuit and show the beauty na lang and brain daw. A- anong masasabi mo sa ganun? Well, first of all, I think, um, I think I have two sides to that. As a fan, I love watching them in their swimsuits because it's sort of like the most exciting part of the fashion. You see really empowered women walking and not because they were born like that, but because they went to the gym and they worked hard to have that sort of body. But at the same time, I think mas maganda po ngayon, especially with the women empowerment movement, that we move away from physicality um, and focus more on the girl herself, her mind, and what she can offer. So, agree naman po ako dito. Second about Bini B, eh, second about beauty queen, yung pag pasok ng chat transgender sa sa Miss Universe. Ano masasabi mo doon? Will you agree doon sa ganang klase mo? Well, for me, I, I understand why people would have their hesitations about it. Um, Nag-against mo naman. For me, I, I understand that. Um, but I'm very accepting of, of um, transgenders joining any pageant because for me, you know, if we don't allow them, that's like saying that they're not women. Um, but when you're transgender, the only thing you want to do is is claim that you're a woman or claim that you're a man. So if we don't let them join, it's like saying that hindi po sila totoo babae or mm-hmm. So for me, go lang. Go with it. Go with it. Tapos, ikaw, kumbaga, nasali ka na ng Binibini, as Miss, 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 Miss World, may plano ka pa rin ba para makamit, ma, ma, makuha mo talaga yung crown or parang stop ka na because it's over. Parang ganun. May ganun ka ba? Kung may plano ka pa rin na sumali to get talagang real title na ikaw. For now, mas focus po ako sa bagong career ko dito sa GMA Showbiz. Um, but I think I have a few more years um, until my, I have fi- five or four more years until my eligibility. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's still in my mind somehow, but for this year, I want to focus on that. Pero kung sakaling bibigyan ka ng chance, ano yung gusto mo makuha? Oh, gosh. Um, Miss Universe din ba? Because <laughs> tapos ka na sa Miss World, di ba? <laughs> Well, siguro po after Miss Real, usually... Pwede ka pa rin bumalik, di ba? Miss Binibini. Pa, ay, pwede pa rin, di ba? Oo. Yeah, pwede. I was only runner-up when I joined in 2014. So pwede pa po. Um, for now, I'm, I'm loyal to the Miss Real organization. But in the future, you know, we never know what's going to happen. And sometimes it's the only thing considered higher in the hierarchy of the pageant world is Miss Universe. Ano masasabi mo na si Katriona after doing Miss World? Tapos may nakuha niya finally, no, di ba? Ano masasabi mo din sa eagerness niya? And yung napaka-smooth daw nung kanyang, yeah. ano, competition? I mean, you know, with Katriona, she just proves that if you join, you should want it. You can't join a part of it. When you join, dapat nandun po yung buong puso mo because that's the only way that you're going to win. And with Katriona, we saw that kasi siya po talaga yung pinaka-prepared na contestant. At yung mga suot niya, yung damit niya, she really thought about it, diba? She used Filipino fabrics and everything, so nothing can beat fashion and dry. Ano sa palagay mo yung ikinagpanalo ni Katriona? Bakit nakuha niya yung title? Oh, well, for many reasons po. I mean, she's smart, she's beautiful, but most importantly, she was prepared. She committed herself. I think parang din po siyang... It's like school. You, know, you don't have to be um, the smartest student. You don't have to be born with the highest IQ. But if you work the hardest, um, if you're the kindest, and if you put your whole heart into it, then you'll do well. And I think that's what gets you. Mm-hmm. If you answer the question, Katriona, will you an- how you answer it? Yeah. About... What is your favorite question about? Uh, what is something that you learned in your life? Yes, uh, uh, like that. What is something that you learned in your life that you would apply to your time? Um, for me, when I was growing up, nobody ever told me that I could um, become a baby queen. And I think I realized the importance of motivating people and inspiring um, because somebody believed in me and that's why I joined. So if I were to be Miss Universe, 
I would motivate people and tell them that they can do it also. Because sometimes it just you just need somebody to push you. You need someone to give you confidence. So you clear? Last na lang. Bakit kailang panorit ng Elise? Yes. Um, February is the point of Elise on the Regal Films, directed by Joel Carrier and. Love story po siya, yung po si First Love. Um, pero hindi po siya typical na love story. Um, it's about finding yourself, um, choosing between the, your dreams and the person that you love. And set po siya in the 90s. So, kakay ba po talaga siya. And I hope you watch it. What's next to you after Elise? Oh my God. Erin ba? Elise? Well, um, I'll be doing uh, a few more movies with these little films. I hope you are. Yes. And hopefully, I'll start a new chapter with the GMB. Teleserye, may mga invite invitation na ba sa teleserye sa Jimmy? Oh, I think I have to audition for it. So hopefully after this movie, I'll get a chance to audition. Thank you, Laura.